Hello everyone. I am Moldy Macaroni X, but you can call me Moldy. Slopes were added to Geometry Dash in the 1.8 update. The game would be very different today without slopes, and I personally believe that slopes are one of the most important objects in the game. Slopes themselves in gameplay terms are not that bad. They are a little buggy, but that is to be expected as this is a blocky game after all. However, slopes in creator terms are much more infuriating to some. Building with slopes are often avoided by decoration creators, including myself, and this is due to how annoying they are to decorate. Decorating blocks are easy, as we are given all the right objects to decorate them. However, we have very little slope decoration objects, and even the ones we do have are not very good. Allow me to demonstrate. For example, this structure here features a slope design. If we wanted to add inner glow to the structure, we get this very ugly blending overlap because of the slope glow objects. Not only this, but most designs are made to go inside the square structures and not slopes, so it is difficult to find good objects to use for decorating slope structures. And it is not even just decorating slopes either, it's also creating the structures. Back in 2.0 and earlier, slopes were a lot better. To make a slope go up a few blocks, slopes and corner pieces were needed, otherwise the slopes would look disconnected. This worked perfectly, although due to newer creators not getting the hang of it, in update 2.1, the slopes were updated, and they now have corner pieces built onto them. This was a good idea in theory, but I do have some criticisms. You can't tell which side of the slope is the correct side. The slope hitboxes function as a half block, and not just the outline. This means that if slopes are placed wrongly, the hitboxes will be messed up which can lead to bad gameplay. Along with this, sometimes the corner pieces on slopes are not necessary, such as when slopes meet another outline object or structure. Before, you would just not put a corner piece there, but now since they are on all the slope pieces, the slope clips through into the other structure and looks rather strange. Another slightly unrelated criticism, but slope 3D is missing a lot of pieces. We now need to manually make our own slope 3D designs, which can be very difficult with blending or lower opacity on designs, which is really popular in glow levels nowadays. Now, with all that out of the way, how can we get around these inconsistencies in slope decoration? That is what I will be going over now. Firstly, and also probably the most controversial way, is to avoid using slopes altogether. I am a victim of this point, as even my levels have very few designs or gameplay based around slopes. The only downside to this point is that blocky structures do not look the greatest. Secondly, we can create our own custom slope designs. Using the ones given to us do not always work, so some creators have put it upon themselves to create their own custom designs that work nicely with slopes such as slope 3D designs and making correct slope glow with no overlap. Thirdly, we can limit slope use to only situations where it works nicely. Some of the examples before can be avoided if the slope was just positioned differently. The downsides to this are sometimes it can be difficult to find other positions for slopes that still look good and still do not damage or change the gameplay. Overall, I don't think slopes are that hard to decorate. It is just it takes a little more time and effort to come up with slope designs and decoration compared to making more blocky structures where decorating them is a lot easier due to the convenient object choices we have. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. I know it is a really strange topic, but it is a topic that I thought would make a good video, so here it is. Thanks for watching and have a great day.